Hi, welcome to Gin Fun at winemastery.co.uk. My name's John Lightfoot, this is... John Murphy. And we're going to tell you about a fantastic English gin in a second. So here we have a fantastic gin. Well, we hope it is, we haven't tasted it yet. It's called Bathtub Gin. Um, so this was given to me as a birthday present and I thought, what better place to first taste it than talking to you guys? And who would I rather, who I wouldn't rather share it with anyone rather than me old mate, John Murphy, and that's why we're doing it here. Oh, John, oh, thank you, John. You can have me blushing, I tell you. Oh, no, but thank you very much, John. You know, I enjoy drinking gin, especially with you. I've never seen you blush. That, that will be an experience. <laughs> so, should we have a little smell and see yes, what it's yes. Uh, so we're just doing it neat, first of all. We're yep. giving ourselves some decent measures. <laughs> we do, we deserve them, John. Wow, so it's a, it's a nice clean smell, but I'm not picking up uh, juniper for sure, but I'm not picking up anything. And although I've read on the label that it's got um, orange peel, and I'm just wondering whether that's making me pick that up. Mm, yeah. I mean, it's, it's strange, isn't it? Because, um, cause I, I, like you say, I'm not getting much on the nose, but I didn't, I, you know, it's, it's difficult when you are smelling pure spirit to kind of get anything anyway. So, cause it, but it's difficult to pick up. But when you say when you say that, when you get the orange, sometimes if you do read on the back or you, you, something's put in your mind about it, then often your mind does work in that way and, and tries to find it. And yeah. it might not always be there, but you, you'll, your mind might want it to be there. Yeah. But, and that's not, I'm not saying it's not there. I'm just saying I... I, I'm getting a strong juniper in there, but very little else. I think having a taste might help, John. Okay, well let's let's have a taste. Well, that's um, first of all, it's forty-three point three percent, isn't it? It is, which I thought was a very odd percentage, you know. Yeah, this, you know, 40, 43, but 43.3%. I'm, I'm not complaining, because, you know, we all like that extra, that extra 3%, don't we, John? We do, we do. Not or complaining. Point, or point 0.3, even. Oh, yeah. I, I, for some of us, I guess that uh, it's, it's, um, I will have, I'll email them, and, and if I get the opportunity to put it on the notes below, uh, if they get back to me, I'll put the notes below why it turned out to be 33.3%, if, okay. there, if there is any reason for that. Um, I'm going to guess they're going to say it's the balance of alcohol and uh, the botanicals, and I'm guessing, but we'll find out. We'll find yeah, out. Yeah, we can do that. So, I'm, as I said, I'm not really sort of getting anything. It's a really nice, clean cut gin and tonic, isn't it? It's mm. a very refreshing gin and tonic. Mouth feels good. Yes, I, I, I was just about to say the mouth feel on that is lovely. It has this kind of like a silky. It's strange to, uh, trying to describe it, kind of a silkiness in there, but a good kind of fullness as well. And, and it's like even while I'm talking to you now, Johnny, you can feel that like mouth watering. It's, it, it's, yeah. It's touched, it's touched the taste buds nicely. That's. Yeah, even yeah, even neat, it makes me want to take a, another another sip. I am. Um, well, you, you can't stop me, Johnny. No, no, I know. <laughs> I've tried, but there we are. <laughs> that's, it's, that's lovely. That's lovely. I think, um, I think it might be interesting, sorry, when we add some tonic. Just to see what changes there, because I'm, I, I, I'm, I still think there's something got to be in there, but we need a bit of tonic in it to yeah. just kind of see, see if that pulls it out, see what happens. Okay, mm. well, should we put some tonic in and uh, see what it tastes like? I think we should, John. Let's go for it. Okay, let's turn the page. And we're back. Aha. 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 Right, so tonic added, uh, worth noting, it's as we usually do 50 50. Yep. Actually, it's killed a lot of the scent for me. I can hardly get anything from that. Yeah, so... Just a little bit, but... Yeah, I know what you mean. Because mm. a... normally, because we've done it 50-50, and normally when it's 50-50, the, you know, the smell is still there, isn't it? The scent is still there, the aroma. Yeah, the you do, and uh, sometimes you tend to, uh, tend to pull more from the gin, as in different bits and pieces, which is what I was hoping for, but... Um, yeah. Good, no, no bad thing, but um, I think it might be worth having getting... Yeah, straight into the taste? I think so. Okay. Hmm. That's, that's softened that down 
quite a lot. Yeah. Quite a lot of that. But just, it, I think it has brought the taste, it's expanded the taste though. Uh, I think that uh, just between shots though, you said about there was a sort of like earthy taste to it. Yeah. And I'm, get, I'm getting that more now with, with the tonic. And when we're saying earthy, we're, we're not meaning dirty, because some gins can have that little sort of dirty sort of taste. Mm. It's still very fresh and very clean. Um, yeah, I'm not quite sure how you would describe it. Earthy is as close as I can get to it. But. Yeah, I thought, <clears throat> and I'll tell you what, upon, upon saying that and thinking about that, most of the kind of, the navy strength gins, the, you know, 57 percenters, that's generally where I find the earthiness and well, well drinking it neat. So it's kind of introducing that, I think nice, and as John said, it's you know it's, the earthiness is, is only a good thing, or I, I I think so definitely, but it has expanded it to the point where I don't know this if with the tonic and it, it feels to be lasting longer a bit uh, um, length on there. I don't know now. I don't know. I mean, it's still. Bloody cracking. Well, it's while you were talking there, and then you said it seems to be lasting long. That's a fair point because I'm not, I've not had another sip. And actually, the taste is still with me, and it's still a refreshing taste. There's none of that. Sometimes it can get a little bit cloy or a, a yeah. little, bit, little bit too sort of florally for me. But that's still very clean, and the taste is still very much in my mouth. And I, and I think it's, it's all gin as well, as in that flavour that is lasting. It's not tonic, it's gin, and it's, it's staying there nicely. So that, yeah, it's a nice, nice gin and tonic, is that John? Nice gin and tonic. I've no idea how much it costs. As I say, it was a, a, a birthday present uh, from a lovely lady called Jane Race. Thank you, Jane. Thank you very much indeed. I must thank you as well, Jane, because I'm, I'm helping him out here. Thank you, Jane. <laughs> That's a tough job. So, uh, it, it's, um, so you know, I, we've actually come to this blind. It's a very nice gin, very nice gin and tonic. You know, it is uh, a fantastic, well actually I was gonna say it's a fantastic summer gin and tonic, but I could imagine enjoying that uh, in, in the winter time as well. I, I think I'm saying summer because it's so refreshing, you know, very clear mm. taste in, in, in your mouth, etc. But it still has some girth to it. Yeah, yeah, mm. uh, as the actress said to the bishop. <laughs> <laughs> He promised me, he promised me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, John, come on. <laughs> so, very, very nice uh, gin and tonic indeed. I will find out where you can uh, get Actually, I just did, did a little bit of research before, and you can get it uh, in lots of supermarkets. It's available, widely available. Um, so, uh, yeah, just go online, look it up, and you'll, you, loads of results will come up. Um, I understand they are exporting it, um, but uh, only to a few countries countries overseas. Uh, USA, I think, is one of them. Australia is another. Um, so, you, guys, if you're there, you may well be able to uh, source this locally. I say, go on their website and they'll show you where you can get it in your country. I actually sell it, John. Just start, I don't know why I just thought I'd throw that in there, just in case anybody wanted to buy it from me, I, I do sell it. Oh, do you? Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, you can tell us how much it costs then. No, I can't. I can't remember. <laughs> Oh, well, I didn't know you sold this. Yeah, yeah, I've, uh, but I can't, I can't remember. I'd have to have a look, but no. Yeah, we sell it. Oh, right. Mm. Oh, well, I didn't know that. There you go. Well, you never bought me one. <laughs> <laughs> next time, Johnny, next time. Uh, next time. <laughs> Quickly down this. <laughs> so, if you want to try it, say, go to the website. Uh, in, in the meantime, we look forward to seeing you in the next Gin Fun. If not, we'll see you in the next Wine Mastery. Chin chin. Chin chin. <laughs>